At least 30 Thai nationals are still believed trapped in Lao Cai town in Myanmar's northeastern Shan state. Lao Cai has seen fierce fighting between ethnic armed groups and the Myanmar military, who seized power in a 2021 coup. Thailand has evacuated around 300 of its citizens so far. CNA's Mei Wong speaks to some of their families. A worried father who didn't know if his son was dead or alive in Myanmar. But then, relief when he learned the 26-year-old was evacuated to Bangkok via China early Monday morning. The father, who only wants to be known as Pompisit, says his son was asked to work in Myanmar six months ago. The job opportunity with an international company sounded attractive. But Pompisit claims his son was instead tricked into working for a call centre scam in Myanmar's Lao Cai town. This 30-year-old who calls herself Bang says her boyfriend went to work in Myanmar just two months ago. He was offered an attractive monthly salary of some 850 US dollars with free accommodation and food. While she's happy that her boyfriend has returned safely, she's now faced with another worry for her partner as Thai authorities believe many of the evacuees worked in Myanmar as cyber scammers in exchange for handsome payouts. The relatives of those evacuated have not been able to see them so far. At the moment, authorities say they're unable to allow the families to meet with the evacuees held up inside their government facility, but assured the families of the victims that they're well and healthy. Authorities are conducting interviews at the moment with the returnees to find out their actual status and to find out why they were in Myanmar in the first place. A Thai MP has met with concerned family members. He's promised to work on ensuring fair treatment for the returnees. Kanawi Subsang says authorities should use the national referral mechanism to accurately identify and help human trafficking victims. The main reason for people who become the uh, victim of human trafficking uh, processes is a lack of job in Thailand. So the education for the Thai people need to be uh, provided. At, at the same time, all the law and existing procedure that need to protect people who become the victim of human trafficking also need to be uh, correct and all has to be developed. And at the same time, regional framework that working on this uh, pro uh, prevention of human trafficking need to be promoted. Jaruwat Jinmongka runs a non-governmental organization that rescues victims of human trafficking. His Emmanuel Foundation played a role in evacuating the Thais from Myanmar. <laughs> Authorities say they found that a few of the returnees have criminal records and will be processed accordingly. The government will also continue to investigate the cybercrime situation and help evacuate citizens from war-torn Myanmar. May Wong, CNA, Bangkok.